Note, the following video depicts a specific configuration of the notebook. The same removal and replacement procedures apply to all configurations of the notebook. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, wireless module, and solid state drive. Removal. Disconnect the power connector cable from its connector on the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the touchscreen ZIF connector and disconnect the touchscreen cable from the system board. Caution: Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and cable. Disconnect the speaker cable from its connector on the system board. Disconnect the fan cable from its connector on the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the USB board ZIF connector and disconnect the USB board ribbing cable from the system board. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbing cable. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the display panel ZIF connector and disconnect the display panel cable from the system board. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and cable. Remove the display panel cable from the routing channel on the fan. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the touchpad board ZIF connector and disconnect the touchpad board ribbing cable from the system board. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbing cable. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the keyboard ZIF connector and disconnect the keyboard ribbing cable from the system board. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbing cable. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the keyboard backlight ZIF connector and disconnect the keyboard backlight ribbing cable from the system board. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbing cable. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the hard disk drive ZIF connector and disconnect the hard disk drive ribbing cable from the system board. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbing cable. Remove the three 4mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the fan to the top cover. Remove the four 4mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the system board to the top cover. Remove the two 2.5mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the system board to the top cover. Carefully lift the system board off of the alignment pins on the top cover and remove. Replacement Note, before installing a system board, remove the following from the old system board and install on the new system board. Fan heatsink assembly, real-time clock RTC battery, memory modules, and shield. Place the system board onto the alignment pins on the top cover. Caution! To avoid damage, ensure that all cables are free from being pinched between the system board and top cover. Replace the two 2.5mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the system board to the top cover. Replace the four 4mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the system board to the top cover. Replace the three 4mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the fan to the top cover. Insert the hard disk drive ribbing cable into the hard disk drive ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbing cable. Insert the keyboard backlight ribbing cable into the keyboard backlight ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbing cable. Insert the keyboard ribbing cable into the keyboard ZIF connector on the system board 
and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Insert the touchpad board ribbon cable into the touchpad board ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Insert the display panel cable into the display panel ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and cable. Route the display panel cable through the routing channel on the fan. Insert the USB board ribbon cable into the USB board ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Connect the fan cable into its connector on the system board. Connect the speaker cable into its connector on the system board. Insert the touchscreen cable into the touchscreen ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and cable. Connect the power connector cable into its connector on the system board. Important! After system board replacement, be sure to complete post-installation tasks as required that may include verifying functionality of the notebook, updating the BIOS, updating DMI and other settings.